Case interview math formulas are the key to cracking almost any case interview that you'll face. Today, I'm gonna walk you through and break down the seven key case math formulas you need to know for success in a case interview. Are you not subscribed to the Management Consultant channel? Take five seconds to click subscribe below, and then let's dive in to the seven formulas you need to know. Let's start with the basics. Number one is revenue. If you don't know how to calculate revenue, you are SOL inside of a case interview. The revenue formula is simple. It's price times volume. Price being the average weighted price that is charged for a product or service, and volume being the quantity or the number of units sold for that product or service within a given time period. So revenue is price times quantity. Next, let's talk about profit. And profit is a little bit trickier because there are actually four different types of profit that you need to know. Let's start with the first one, gross profit. Gross profit is your revenue minus your costs of goods sold. You'll often see costs of goods sold represented as COGS, C-O-G-S. So your revenue minus your costs of goods sold, these are the input costs, the direct costs associated with manufacturing and selling your product. You subtract those from the revenue and you arrive at gross profit. Net profit is gross profit minus all other cost items. It's what you're left with at the end of the day after every single cost has been accounted for. Now, in between gross profit and net profit, you have two other kinds of profit that you must be intimately familiar with, EBIT and EBITDA. EBIT is your net income or your net profit plus interest and plus taxes. So put another way, it's your net income, but you're adding back the interest expense and adding back the tax expense. EBITDA is your net profit or your net income, plus the interest expense, plus tax expense, and plus non-cash expenses like depreciation and amortization. As a consultant or a future consultant, as you are calculating profit inside of a case interview, note that you will most often be calculating EBIT or operating profit. Consultants are concerned with how well the operations of a business are running. So interest and tax expenses aren't of great concern to consultants. They're most concerned with operating profit. So if you're in a case interview and you're asked to calculate profit, of course you can confirm with your interviewer, but more than likely your gut feeling, your instinct, your hypothesis should be that you are being asked to calculate EBIT, earnings before interest and taxes. Next, Let's think about profit margin. There are four types of profit, and so four types of profit margin. Put simply, your profit margin is simply your profit divided by your revenue. So your gross profit margin, also just known as gross margin, is your gross profit divided by your revenue. The same would be true for EBIT, for EBITDA, and for your net profit. So put simply, profit margin is profit divided by revenue. Profit margin is incredibly helpful for you to understand in percentage terms how well your business is operating. Profit margin is a key indicator for businesses as to how well their businesses are operating. How much money are you taking home at the end of the day for every dollar that you generate? We surveyed 250 candidates who got offers at firms like McKinsey, Bain, BCG, Deloitte, and Accenture. And we asked them, how many cases did you practice before you landed your offer? And the answer was an average of 22 cases. If you haven't already started your prep, you're falling behind your peers. And this isn't meant to scare you. It's meant to urge you to take action today. I needed that urgency to get a successful offer at Bain. If you need expert support or additional guidance, 
students join our Black Belt Case Prep Program. You'll work one-on-one with an MBB coach to get case interview ready, including a tailored prep plan that's customized just for you. Our cohorts are phenomenal and they always sell out. Go to the link in the description to learn more about Black Belt and join today. Your consulting offer is just one decision away. Fifth, let's talk about market size. You will often be asked to size a market inside of a case interview. It's a skill you absolutely need to have. Put simply, market size is the total revenue spent in a market in a given time period. Most often, we think of market size in terms of total revenue spent in a market in a given year. It's an annualized number. How do you arrive at market size? It's the number of customers within the given market multiplied by the expected annual spend that those customers would have for that product or service. You take the result of that calculation and you get the estimated revenue for that market in a given year. Understanding how to calculate market size can be incredibly helpful as you help your clients answer questions like if they should enter a new market or introduce a new product to market. Next, let's talk about market share. Once you've identified market size, often the next calculation that you'll be asked to make inside of a case interview is to determine the share of your client and the share of their top competitors. Market share helps you determine overall whether a market is fragmented or consolidated. So what is market share and how do you calculate it? Put simply, market share is the annual revenue of one player in the market divided by the total revenue that exists inside of that market. This calculation gives you a quick sense of the position that your client or your client's competitors have in a particular market. Do they have a dominant position? Are they an upstart fighting for market share? How are they perceived in the market? How should they position themselves moving forward? There are a lot of questions that can be, begin to be answered through understanding market share. Seventh, and finally, you must know how to calculate ROI, or return on investment. Your ROI calculation is the annual profit that you can expect to achieve from a given investment divided by the initial investment amount. ROI is a critical metric that all businesses will use and that you will use inside the case interview to determine whether an investment decision should go forward or not. If you don't understand how to calculate ROI, you'll struggle mightily inside of cases that include merger, acquisition, and other joint venture possibilities. It's critical to understand the annual profit that you can expect to achieve from an initial investment. And ROI, knowing this metric, helps you understand what your payback period is, how long it will take you to recoup the initial investment that you're making. These are just the top seven math formulas that you should know for case interviews and are the beginning of your prep, not the culmination of it. For more help, download our free case math formulas cheat sheet in the description below. And if you want even more help than the cheat sheet can give you, purchase our all access pass. Inside the all access pass, you'll find a plethora of video lessons that guide you through not just these calculations, dozens and dozens of other calculations that you'll need to know how to make for the case interview. On top of those video lessons, you'll find thousands of math drills that will help you apply what you're learning and 600 practice cases so that you can apply these math concepts within a business and case context, not just within a mathematical construct. You can learn more about the all access pass through the link in the description. Best of luck as you sharpen your math skills for an upcoming case interview.